Hey, how's it going YouTube? I'm Landon, and let's just start off asking you guys what country do you guys live in? Let me know in the comment section below. I want to know. Well, this top 10 list is a pretty scary one. Depends on how you look at it. It's just scary to know that there are cities in the world that will soon disappear in our lifetimes. Some of the reasons is for like floodings, or it could be earthquakes, active volcanoes, and many other factors that we're going to be looking into. So let's find out what these cities are. This is the top 10 cities that will disappear in your lifetime. Starting us off like we always do at number 10 we have Venice Italy I just came back from this place while on my honeymoon and honestly it's one of the most beautiful places in the world Venice has been known to be like the floating city but it may not be floating too long it might be called the sinking city or the sunk city so we might have to say goodbye to those gondola rides and that's because the city is currently sinking the city has often been threatened by floods and tides pushing in the city is sinking one to two millimeters per year since 2000 Venice experienced the worst flooding in history experts believe within a hundred years the city will be underwater and this is majorly due to the climate change New York is next on this list at number nine scientists believe that sea levels would increase several feet over the next 50 years. Researchers claim the initial melting of the ice sheets will be one of the main causes for New York to flood. New York has a population of 8.5 million people, so that is a lot of people who would be affected by this. Millions of people will have to relocate their life. Take a look at this map. This is what New York would look like if sea levels rise by 20 feet. This is really scary. The whole coast of New York would be underwater. Also, New York is often hit with hurricanes. These hurricanes seem to get bigger and bigger, doing more and more damage and flooding parts of New York. Okay, number eight, San Francisco. San Francisco might not be around that long, and it could be because of many different reasons. San Francisco, which is in California, are affected by a lot of earthquakes. San Francisco is located on top of an active tectonic plate that formed the San Andreas Fault. This fault line runs 1,200 kilometers through California. The San Andreas has not ruptured since about 1680, and a big earthquake from the fault is supposed to go off every 150 to 200 years, which means the San Andreas fault is long overdue for a major earthquake. This earthquake could destroy the whole city and even the state. Number seven, let's talk about the cities located in one of the smallest countries in the world. And the country we're talking about is Nauru. Nauru used to be called Pleasant Island, but it has become a country with just over 10,000 residents living in it. It's located in Micronesia, northeast of Australia. A lot of people never heard of Nauru. And the, the thing is, people of the future, they may not know what it even was because it may not exist. Nara is sinking and it's drying out. This is due to the accelerating effects of climate change. A lot of people in the country can't afford to move to another one, but this is becoming a very serious problem. That nation is concerned about massive cyclones that could easily wipe out the whole country. Moving into number six, we have Detroit, Michigan, the Motor City. This was a city that used to be booming economy-wise, but now it looks like a ghost town. Most of the city has been abandoned, and this is due to the huge collapse of the auto industry that crashed the economy. Millions of people have moved away. The crime rates has become one of the highest in the states, making this a city no one wants to live in. Detroit back in 2013 filled the largest municipal bankruptcy in US history. With almost no desire to set up business in Detroit, there will be no way to employ yourself, meaning it's a matter of time when the city is just not on the map anymore. There's no point drawing in Michigan, Detroit. Number five, Mexico City, Mexico. Mexico City has been facing a water crisis. When the Grand Canal was completed at the end of the 1800s, it was Mexico City Brooklyn Bridge. This was a major breakthrough from engineers. This construction had the ability to move tens of thousands of gallons of waste water per second and a promise to solve the flooding and sewage problems that had plagued the city for centuries. Mexico City is located in the valley of Mexico surrounded by the mountains and volcanoes. This city has no natural drainage outlet for the water to flow down the mountains, making the city very vulnerable for flooding. That's why the Grand Canal was built, but it doesn't seem to be big enough. Mexico is slowly still flooding and could be underwater very soon. All right, number four is Miami, Florida. Miami has been constantly flooding for hundreds of years. It is surrounded by water, the whole island. It's an island. It's just there's water all around it. It is predicted that very soon half the landmass will be underwater. It's easy for Miami to flood because it's actually very flat and it has a very weak foundation. The island is on limestone and 
and when limestone gets wet, it just dissolves. If climate change continues to be unchecked, the United States will be on path of self-destruction and it might start with Miami. We all know President Donald Trump thinks global warming is a hoax, so it doesn't seem like anything will be done soon, like global warming was. There's just not going to be any changes for the future. Number three, we have Banjul, the Gambia. Banjul is the capital of Gambia and it is a small West African country bordered by Senegal. Floods have made a major disaster affecting Gambia over the last decade. The effects of this poses great concerns. Gambia is located in the low-lying coast, which means it could flood easily and also the city doesn't have a lot that they can do to counter a flood. This is why Gambia is one of the world's most vulnerable countries. They are prone to effects of the sea level rising. Very soon the whole city would be underwater. Right now there are around 50,000 people living in the city that could be affected by this. People would have to move their whole lives to another part of Africa. Naples, Italy comes into this list at number two. Naples has been a place experts believe that could be wiped out very soon and this is because it is surrounded by very large active volcanoes. Active meaning it can go off at any time. Naples is famously known for Mount Vesuvius. There has been many reports from scientists that there is activities of volcanoes or rumbling. This isn't good news. Since the 1950s there has been signs of the volcano being active. The last time this volcano went off was in 1944. When it went off it destroyed villages and there was lava and smoke clouds everywhere. If Mount Vesuvius goes off it can wipe out the city of Naples. And finally number one we have Bangkok, Thailand. Now this is a very scary one and experts are saying that the city could be underwater in the next 15 years thanks to the combination of sinking land and rising global sea levels. This is really scary. This means 10 million people will be left without homes. Thailand's National Reform Council issued a report warning that they have to take immediate precautions to avoid this devastation and it might be costly. Most of the city right now is just 5 feet above the sea level and the city is sinking at a rate of 2 centimeters a year. So by 2100 the city should be underwater and it actually could be sooner than that. The land could be sinking faster and faster as time moves on because the more land underwater the more weight it causes the more it just pulls it down. Well there you guys have it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys all in the new most amazing top 10 video.